Hello and welcome again to Trimix Video Tech Tips. Today we're going to take a look at how to unfix a part or a sub-assembly inside an assembly. To do this, let's start by opening up an assembly and then we're going to insert components. We can click on the assembly tab and then click on the insert components button. In this case, I'm going to insert a U-bolt. As soon as I insert the U-bolt, you can see that it is fixed in space. As much as I try to move it around, it cannot move. Additionally, we can recognize that this part is fixed by looking into our future manager tree. We can recognize an F beside the part's name, which means the part is fixed. In order to unfix the part, we can right click in the future manager tree and then click on float. You will see that now your part can move around in space. If I want to fix it again, I can just click on the future manager tree again and click on fix. The part will be fixed at the exact space where it was moved. Now, let's discover how we can unfix a sub-assembly. From the previous U-Bolt, we have assembled an additional component. We can see that this component can rotate around the U-Bolt. However, when I use this, this sub-assembly in a different assembly, we can observe that it's fixed it can no longer rotate. How we can make this sub-assembly flexible once again? This is simple to do. Let's right-click on the sub-assembly's name in the Future Manager tree, and then we're going to go to Component Properties. Here in Component Properties, we can solve the assembly as rigid or flexible. Notice how the icon beside the sub-assembly is going to change when I move it from rigid to flexible. Once I change this assembly from rigid to flexible, the icon has changed. And now I can move my sub-assembly. It is worth mentioning that SOLIDWORKS resolves the sub-assemblies as fixed by default. This makes SOLIDWORKS work quicker if we're working with a large assembly. So be aware that making your assemblies flexible might slow down your resolution time if you're working in large assemblies. This brings us again to the end of this Trimec video tech tip. Don't forget to check for new videos to learn how to streamline your design process.